Challenge Awards pre-show and Orange Carpet Spectacular. I'm Nicole Lynn Evans, a Legacy Film Challenge participant, past winner, and now proud working actor. And I'm joined by my friend Sophia Cheyenne, who you may also know from the Film Challenge, and now Amazon's Louder Milk. Hey, Sophia! Hi, Nicole! How cool is this? It's almost like the real thing. <laughs> We're so excited to be your orange carpet hosts and reporters for the evening, and we'll give you a sneak peek of tonight's nominees, presenters, sponsors, and special guests. You all help make this event a big hit this year. I can't wait to see everyone strut their stuff on the orange red carpet tonight, and it's coming to you live, no joke. So let's get this celebration started. We are coming to you virtually on the orange carpet from outside the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm ready to see all of you, and most importantly, our finalists, Drop their stuff. Let's do this, Nicole. We want to make sure we see all your gorgeous faces on this magical orange carpet this evening, showing off your virtual style. Hey, here comes Mark Whitley, CEO of Easter Seal Southern California. Great to see you, Mark. I wish it was in person, but this will work. You too, Nicole and Sophia. You are both radiating and brilliant as our orange carpet correspondents. Thanks for stopping me on my way to this evening's awards. As you know, Easter Seals is on a mission to change the way the world defines and views disability, and we're working really hard across the entertainment industry to help us do just that. Tonight, through this incredible film challenge, is just one important example. Easter Seals just completed its latest PSA, and I couldn't wait to share it tonight. Since we're all about disability inclusion and representation here, I thought this spot would fit right in. Check it out. We are the 25%. That's a quarter of all Americans, over 61 million people with a disability. Our differences make us 100% unique, just like you. 100% creative, passionate, determined, and proud. We are the 25%, and we want a world where everyone is 100% included.
And there goes our host for the evening, Nick Novicki, heading into our show. Looking good, Nick. Wow, Sylvia, what an evening. So amazing to see all of our participants on their way to this evening's award. Yes, and just so proud of everyone's celebration of each other here tonight, coming dressed in their Hollywood style. Thanks to all of you for spreading some time, spending some time with us this evening on the orange carpet. We are just a few minutes away from the big show, so Sophia and I need to get settled in. But one more thing before we go. A final pose for the camera, Nicole? You know it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? Coming live, live from Microsoft Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Theater. It's downtown the LA. Disability Film Challenge Award Show. Good luck and enjoy. Welcome and congratulations to all the filmmakers. I look forward to the Easter Seals Disability Challenge every year. I hope the whole world has a chance to watch these incredible films. They really are full of heart, humor, representation, and inclusion. Good luck to all. Here's to a great night of celebrating your amazing talent. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. I would be remiss if I didn't give a special shout out to my pal, Nick Novicki. I did my first episode of television with Nick back in 1897. And uh, what Nick, what you've been doing for almost a decade now uh, is changing people's lives. It's helping advance their careers. Cheers to you, pal. So, comes as no surprise, 2020 was a rough year. The global pandemic took us all by storm. Production shut down, the entertainment industry paused, turned to technology to find new ways to tell stories. After a careful review, we're able to relaunch the home edition. These were documentary films. You know, we had 87 that were shot and produced from all over the world. I've become the lighting person, the camera person, the editor, and, and the actor. It's been really great. I knew I didn't have the best equipment, but I've got stories. I just really wanted to do a positive documentary about autism. I have so much to say, and I have to do it in five minutes. To be able to have the opportunity to create was just awesome. Three, two, one. Registration is officially open. Welcome to the 2021 Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. The Film Challenge has led to countless opportunities for people with disabilities in front of and behind the camera. There's everything to gain, but there's nothing to lose. Just go for it, is what I always say. the abilities that we can show the industry, be it theater, be it modeling, on set. We have to keep going and we can grow and that is the right attitude to have. Kareem, me and you just got to dance now. It's a 25 second dance solo. 25 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> and now, here's your host, founder and director of the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, Nick Novicki. The dance party continues. We are coming to you live from our virtual location, the Microsoft Theater in the heart of Los Angeles. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Nick Novicki, the founder and director of the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, and I'm a proud Easter Seals board member. The Film Challenge is an annual competition that puts disability in the entertainment spotlight. We give people with disabilities opportunities both in front of and behind the camera. We do year-round workshops, seminars, and networking opportunities. But most importantly, our work is leading to jobs. And we've reached a tipping point, too. I mean, who watched the Oscars last week, right? I mean, how amazing was it seeing Marley Matlin as a presenter and Paul Racy nominated for his work in Sound of Metal? And our film challenge judge, Jim Lebrecht, nominated for Crip Camp. 
And Jim, man, you took over that red carpet. Did you guys see him in that custom tuxedo with the Gucci? Woo, man, I'm jealous. Can I borrow that tuxedo, Jim? I mean, the world is starting to open up and I need some Crip Camp swag. But seriously, you and the entire Crip Camp team, I mean, you guys took over that carpet. Judy Human, you are a legend. And you were one of those people that really took over that carpet. I mean, there was a lot of wheelchairs and a lot of sign language at this year's Oscars. I got confused. I mean, I was watching at home and I was like, is this the Oscars or the Film Challenge Award Ceremony? Tonight's award ceremony is being broadcast live. That's right, we're live, baby. So talk to us in the chat box. Hit us up online. Use the hashtag EDFC2021 so we know where you are. I'm a comedian, so I'm used to hearing laughter if I'm doing good or no laughter if I'm doing bad. <laughs> Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you're doing. But most importantly, let's show some love to all of our finalists and our winners. They worked so hard, and they really want to see your love from them, both in the chat and also online, because they're going to be checking. You know, it's hard to believe we've been in a global pandemic for over a year. You know, right before the pandemic started, I had the amazing opportunity to guest star on the Sony Pictures TV show, The Good Doctor. Now, normally, when I act in a TV show, I'll try to keep the clothes my character wore in that show. But if I'd known what was about to happen, I would have been like, you know what? Forget the clothes. You guys mind if I keep some of this PPE equipment we got laying around? You guys mind if I take a couple of these masks home with me? Maybe you could throw in some toilet paper? But in all seriousness, we can't thank our talented Film Challenge participants enough. You guys have done incredible work. We had the most films we ever had in a global pandemic. And that says something about our talent and that says something about the community. This year, we had a record-breaking 93 amazing mockumentary films that were shot, produced, and created from all over the world, including India, Australia, Italy, the Netherlands, the UK, Ireland, and Canada. Together, we're continuing to change the way the world views disabilities. Now, everybody, let's sit back and let's enjoy the fact that we're all here together and the fact that most of us still aren't wearing pants. But everybody, you got to stop eating because we got to put pants on soon, all right? All right, who's ready, baby? Our first up, we got an amazing actor. You know him from Comcast, NBC, Universal's New Amsterdam. Please welcome Matthew Jeffers. Thanks so much, Nick. I am thrilled to be here celebrating this annual moment that has truly become the signature event across the entertainment industry to celebrate and elevate disability inclusion and representation. The simple fact is we're making tremendous progress and in large part due to this particular asset, the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. Every single person who participates in the film challenge gains both critical experience and exposure. Two key factors in building a career in this uh, very tough business. This has absolutely been true for me, uh, my career, and, and for so many of my friends uh, in this community. I play uh, a doctor on TV. That's my role. It's not about my disability. Um, it's about the role. And I'm so proud uh, and honored that NBC and New Amsterdam took that chance to include me, uh, a doctor who just happens to have uh, dwarfism. And I've been noticing Comcast, NBC Universal, and, and many others do that more often now across many of their shows. That's progress. That's our real world. And the good news is we're just getting started. You know, studios and networks like all the ones that support the film challenge and other companies are taking notice and making decisions that authentically include disability in so many ways. And they're finding the talent, whether in front of or behind the camera through, in large part through this uh, film challenge. Here's the proof. It's in the content we're all watching. Entertainment is finally hiring more and more people with disabilities. Check it out.
I launched the Disability Film Challenge from over the course of a weekend. Participants write, shoot, edit, and submit three to five minute films that have somebody with a disability in front of or behind the camera. Partnering with Easter Seal Southern California really took it to the next level because to date we've had hundreds of films, countless success stories, and ultimately we're changing the way people see disability in Hollywood. I am very grateful for the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, for giving people like me a chance to star in their own films and be recognized in them. I wrote, produced, and created my own film and it led to this amazing opportunity. I want to play, but I can't play for someone else to die. It doesn't matter whether you win or not, but if you do win, it's a game changer for your career. I've made huge connections at HBO, I've gotten to have interviews with Academy Award-winning editors. Leah J. Zelaya makes her debut in the upcoming film starring Jennifer Lopez, Maluma, and Owen Wilson. It was actually unexpected. It was through the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. I'm asked to present an award at the Disability Film Challenge. I was so excited because I truly believe there is so much talent out there in the disabled community that is just not acknowledge the way that it should, not naming names, but actually I'm gonna name names because I saw a short film starring Nicole Evans and I knew that I wanted her to be in season two of Special and she is, she's incredible. And the industry is waking up to the value of authentically portraying characters with disabilities and including more people with disabilities in roles and specifically in roles that don't have to do with their disabilities. Watching that success story video made me kind of emotional. You know, we have so many talented film challenge participants and so many supportive people and organizations helping us share these amazing films. We can't thank you enough. We have a lot of people to thank, but real quick, I'd like to thank my partners, Easter Seal, Southern California, my fellow board members, the Media Access Awards, which big award ceremony coming up this fall, Jim Garland and everyone at Microsoft, Change for Balance, Matt Bauer, Johnny Cardinale, and I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Teal. She's so smart and supportive. I wouldn't be able to do anything without you. We just actually had our first child a couple weeks ago, and now I got the whole family working on the film challenge. I run all my jokes by our two-week-old daughter, and I know every time she starts crying, my jokes are in trouble. But we have a lot of supportive people. I mean, people have been so supportive. I keep telling people, when the world opens up, dinner on me. And now everybody knows that my wife and I are fully vaccinated, so people are starting to hit me up like, hey, Nick, what about that dinner? And I tell them, oh, stay home, save lives. Safer at home. But we can't thank you guys enough. And we have so many generous sponsors that allow us to do what we do throughout the year. To help us thank our sponsors, please welcome the Chief Development Officer of Easter Seal Southern California, Nancy Weintraub. Hey Nick, it's hey. so good to be here. Hey. I'm so excited to join you today as we celebrate our eighth year and all of the amazing films from this year. And we really do have a lot to be thankful for, including our sponsors. Yes, first up, I'd like to thank our event sponsors. You know, we're coming to you live tonight because we're powered by Microsoft Teams. We can't thank the Teams teams enough. I love saying Teams teams, it's so fun. <laughs> but you guys have been amazing. And we really couldn't do what we do without all, all of our sponsors. They really are helping us change the way the world defines and views disability. And they are Adobe, Viacom CBS, Dell Technologies, IMDB Pro, Intel, Microsoft Teams, Comcast NBC Universal, Sony Pictures Entertainment, the Sundance Institute, and Warner Media. Plus, we have amazing mentor meetings, including a mentor meeting with Tony Award winning Ali Stroker, Brett King from Sony Pictures Entertainment, Tiffany Smith Anuahu from Viacom CBS. And we also have Gina Desclos from HBO and HBO Max as well as Emerlyn Lompetok from Comcast and BC Universal. And this year we're offering the best prize package we've ever had. Including, the best. Including $1,500 grants provided by Comcast NBC Universal so you can make it rain on your future productions. 
I hope I'm not swearing in sign language. I apologize <laughs> if I am. I'm taking classes right now. I'm in school. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're also going to get a Dell Technologies XPS 13 2-in-1 with the Info Intel Evo platform. This way you guys can edit on the go. I, I've always wanted to be on the prices Right, so this is the best I can do. <laughs> and you will get a one-year subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. As well as a one-year membership to Film Independent. And one-year subscriptions to IMDb Pro and the winning films are going to be featured on the IMDb homepage. So this way you can, you know, give some love to you. Look at that! My IMDb profile. Who wants to click on it and give me a little love? Let's get that star meter lower. Come on! Yeah, he's just interested in his star meter. And, and while you guys are at it, why don't you guys show some love to all our finalists? Let's, let's make that star meter nice and low. And also, they, they've developed unbelievable pages for each of the films. So check them out. And thank you guys so much. And last but certainly not least, screening at numerous Academy Award qualifying festivals throughout the country throughout the year. Woo! You know what? What? I think we forgot one more award. What? Best Dressed Award. Uh, I mean, come on. I am wearing my best orange carpet outfit today. I mean, you did. You, you killed it. Look at this. It's the shoes, you know. Well, I mean, that's not fair. See, if I wear high heels, you're going to have to airlift me out. All right? I could barely walk in my regular shoes. So so what did we go with here today? What? I'm, I'm trying my best. I mean, you guys are lucky I'm wearing pants. It's a pandemic. <laughs> All right, guys. Luckily, this next bit, we're going back to the orange carpet. And we got Stephanie Thomas, Jillian Mercada, and Lolo Spencer, three new film challenge judges. And they got a lot of style, believe me, a lot more than me. So take it away, ladies. Hi, Nick. Thanks so much for having us tonight. And you look fine. But I do have to say thank you for following those styling tips I gave you because coming on teams every meeting with your pajamas on, ah, you had me a little nervous there. I have to be honest. But you clean up well, Nick. You clean up well. Definitely, Stephanie and Nick. And even without much sleep these days between the film challenge and your gorgeous baby girl, uh, you definitely clean up as the most dapper host of the evening. I'm also noticing some serious orange carpet vibes this evening. Kudos for everyone stepping up their style quotient from the nominees to the guests. Yeah, kudos for looking so dapper on this special night and celebration. With every award show, the red, or in this case, orange, carpet is it, pandemic or not. And this inclusive film challenge is no exception. Yes, Jillian, and just like at the Oscars, where disability for the first time really shined bright, the diverse talent involved in this film challenge also deserve the limelight that Hollywood offers. Which means you too deserve a glam squad. Think of us as your personal fashionistas. That's in addition to being the newest judges for these awesome films. The disability community is in the house tonight. Yes, we are. And as new judges, I speak for all three of us. I'm, I'm sure I do. I speak for all three of us when we say that we really struggled to narrow down the finalists this year. All of your films were truly amazing. And we celebrate all of you tonight. Looking gorgeous, even at home and on teams. But next year... We expect to see your beautiful faces and amazing films in person. Until then, congratulations, filmmakers. You are all winners. Ah, thank you so much, ladies. I mean, right? Do they got style or what? You know, and they, they said some nice things about me. Uh, even though I had to pay them to, you know, but, no, they're amazing. I mean, they're true talent and they got that style. You know, I, I can't thank you enough for being judges. And I'd like to thank all of our film challenge judges. You know, we have some of the most important people in the industry, actors, writers, directors, and producers with and without disabilities that take the time out to watch these films and truly make the world more inclusive. Plus, they take some of the heat off of me because if you're a filmmaker and you don't win tonight, it's not my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I am serious though, you need to check out all these amazing films. We have 93 films, they're all up on our YouTube channel. Check them out, uh, they're really great. You know, we've been seeing a lot of people hit up the chat box. Uh, my wife, Teal, 
thank you so much for congratulating everybody. Uh, you probably have to because it's going to be awkward later if you don't because I asked you to. So thank you. But we're getting a lot of chats and we're getting a lot of love. But who's ready to start these awards? All right. Without further ado, our first award of the night is the Best Awareness Campaign Award. And for this award, we have one of the funniest people on the planet who's going to be presenting this award. She's a friend. She's a fellow comedian. You're going to love her. Keep it going for Michelle Bateau. Thanks, Nick. And shout out to all the filmmakers and the whole disability community for getting your films out there. It ain't easy, but you did it and you made it look breezy. Through this film challenge, Easter Seals is empowering filmmakers to use their creativity to tell more diverse stories and is encouraging them to get their films out there and seen during the awareness campaign. The Best Awareness Campaign Award is presented to the film that raises the most awareness for their films. Judges select the film based on a number of marketing and social media tactics, including number of overall views, shares, likes, and press coverage. Fun fact, all of this year's Best Awareness finalists are from the East Coast. Coincidence? You can't keep New Yorkers quiet. What? You ain't gonna watch my film during the pandemic? Meet me outside. Meet me outside. That's the DMX reference. Oh my goodness, rest in power. Listen! Through the film challenge, millions of people around the world have been exposed to talented people with disabilities in front of and behind the camera. Keep up the good work, everybody. No, truly, keep it up! And while you're at it, you can, you can continue the hard work by watching, liking, sharing my Netflix special, Welcome to Butopia. Oh, yes. This is a shameless plug, okay? The point is, every single one in the film challenge films are worth watching, sharing, liking, rinsing, repeating. We must get our incredible stories and voices out there immediately. And now, the finalists for the best awareness campaign presented by Viacom CBS are... The nominations for Best Awareness Campaign presented by Viacom CBS are Melanie Rivera Waldman, Couples Therapy. And how does that make you feel, Arnold? How do I feel? Um, bad. Mm. I feel really bad. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And why is that? Jeez. Um, well, she cheated on me, uh, with our dentist. While I was in the middle of getting my wisdom teeth out. Jennifer Masumba, The Roommates. I would appreciate it if you would stop using the word chicken in all circumstances unless you're actually putting it in my bowl. Then you can say chicken. <gasps> did someone say chicken? You did. That's right, because I have my handy dandy translator. Anna Pacman, Social Fitness. Last week, I gave you a homework assignment. Would anyone like to share? I remember to unmute myself. You can just talk. We aren't on Zoom. Rachel Handler. So you want to be an actor. We need to make a movie. I'll play an undercover spy, and you'll play my teacher. Like a teacher coming back from war? No. With cancer? No, just a teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the winner is Social Fitness by Anna Pacman. Congratulations, Anna and team, on winning the best awareness campaign this year. Thank how, you. how do you feel? I feel great. You know, I have um, the rest of my team behind me, at least most of the team here. Um, you know, I was so fortunate to work with a hilarious cast. Thank you, Maysoon, Anita, Sylvia, Mary, Liz, Shashi, Eric, BJ, Bree, and Josie, and my co-producers and editors, Liz Pritchard and JD Michaels, who had to cut videos from all of these people who taped everything at home um into one film um thank you nick and easter seals for this incredible opportunity and most of all thank you to our family and friends and everyone out there 
who watched, um, especially exactly one guy on Reddit who said that our film was funnier than everything he saw on SNL in the past 10 years. Um, and yeah, what an incredible <laughs> event and moment for our community. Less than 2% of the people you see on screen in mainstream media are authentically disabled. Less than 1% of writers are, and we really need to change that narrative. So excited to keep working together. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Well, you guys did a great job. Real quick, though, tell us about how, how did you get this campaign? You guys got a lot of likes, a lot of views. You had a big team. You got May Soon with the TED Talk. You got everybody here. You want to talk a little bit about your campaign, and then we're going to see your film. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we just hit every possible channel we could, hit up all of our friends, our families, um, you know, just, you know, begging for share. So I think I owe people a few dinners myself there, Nick. <laughs> um, you know, we um, also reaching out to the industry was very important to us. So we had a campaign on LinkedIn. Um, I wrote a think piece for Women in Hollywood, um, was picked up by Today.com. So, you know, just every avenue we could to get the word out there. You hear that? We got a lot of actors right now going to be hitting you up like, hey, I got a play coming out here. Do a little marketing for me. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. Let's see your film, Social Fitness. And the winner of Best Awareness Campaign presented by Viacom CBS is Anna Pacman, Social Fitness. Good evening. I'm Harriet Hattington. Tonight, we go behind the scenes of a new type of fitness trend, the fitness it takes to socialize with other humans. Our new Discoveries correspondent, Daphne Diaz, brings us more on this story. I'm going to take you inside a special class that's helping local residents adjust to life after the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, class, We've already talked about the sourdough thing. It says BYOB on that sign right there. What do you mean I can't bring my own bread? I want to talk to the manager. How to navigate without social distancing arrows. And proper office etiquette. <laughs> now, on to today's lesson, meeting new people. Let's just say I found it very easy to adjust to the new normal. But some people, they struggle. With everything being on Zoom, it's all business up top and easy breezy down below. Cat pants. Your cat is not your pants. Put some bottoms on your bottom, Jen. One leg at a time. Do you feel that your approach may be a little harsh it is time for us to rip the band-aid of comfort off the hairy back of complacency now we're gonna practice greetings are you a good teacher jen i am not your pet moving on olivia go ahead and shake karen's hand i'm sorry i can't i haven't touched anyone in a year mimi means well and knows what's important to me but I don't have to touch anyone to get pregnant. I got my baby in the sperm piggy bank right here. Last week I gave you a homework assignment. Would anyone like to share? I remember to unmute myself. You can just talk. We aren't on Zoom. I do everything on Zoom. I got married on Zoom. We had a Zoom wedding. Do you, Andy, take Divya? to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold. I do. Oh, here we go. <laughs> At least I think I did. Has anyone actually done this week's assignment? All you had to do was meet one real person in real life. I already did. Oh, thank our Lord and Savior, Dolly Parton. How'd it go? So should we? We're both vaccinated. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Oh, what? It's just your face. It's just, you know, the mystery's gone. So let me get this straight. This was your first date. No, we've been social distance dating for six months. Am I a trained therapist? No. 
Did I flunk out of the police academy? Maybe, but there's no question. My approach works. What a marvelous report. Such bravery it takes to as much as utter a breath in the presence of another. This class is such an inspiration. What about you? How did you readjust? <laughs> I really, I've really never liked people anyway. Congratulations, Anna, and everyone from your team. You know, a lot of people are asking, is this live? Well, you just saw, you know, that <laughs> she was unmuted, which I don't know if there could be more of a fitting thing to happen for her to win that award with her film and having all the problems <laughs> that go on in all this virtual world we're in. But she did a great job. And also, all of you are doing a great job getting the word out there. You're live tweeting. I love it. Clint Brown, we see you. Uh, David Daniel from CNN's Hollywood Minute. Thank you for driving people in and thank you for your Hollywood Minute piece. All right, who's ready for the next award? I just say that like there's thousands of people in the room with me, even though I'm by myself. But <laughs> our next award is the Best Editor Award presented by Adobe. And this presenter, she really doesn't need an introduction in our community. Uh, she is a Tony winner. She's an amazing actress. She's an amazing dancer. She's an amazing singer. She's a newly published author. She's probably a good cook. She may be a helicopter pilot. I don't know. She does a lot. You're going to love her. Keep it going. Allie Stroker. Aw, uh, thanks, Nick. That is quite the intro. <laughs> you know, I am a huge fan of both the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge and of you personally, Nick. Your talent and advocacy on behalf of this amazing community is incredible. Personally, authentic representation is one of the most important parts of my career. And I am so proud of this community and what we are creating. It is essential to see ourselves represented in plays, musicals, movies, TV shows, and stories. The reality is we must see it to be it. Of course, it is great to be here tonight. I am honored to announce the finalists for best editing presented by Adobe. Editors are the unsung heroes in this business and truly one of the most important positions on film and TV productions. They help craft and shape the stories, have a keen eye to nuance and important details and are integral to every aspect of a show or film. The Film Challenge gives us all the opportunity to create diverse roles and storylines, ones we see ourselves in, diverse, disabled, represented, included. And behind every film, there's a great editor working into the night to make sure us actors shine on screen. And now, the nominees for Best Editing presented by Adobe are... The nominations for Best Editor presented by Adobe are Grace Kelly, Superheroes. You were diagnosed as an adult, correct? Yeah. And how did that make you feel? I guess I knew myself better after that, and people started to understand me better too. That's when I really started to get in control of my powers, actually. Not all at once. Victoria Elena Nones and Nathaniel Siri Breaking Cody. Hired? 
Matthew Placentia, Archaic Intergalactic Extraterrestrials. After performing many, many amateur colonoscopies, I have observed that there appeared to be Egyptian hieroglyphics and pictures of windmills inside of their colons. Danny Bowman, The Home Office. My assistant, Mindy, will be making the rounds for performance evaluations today, so shape up or you'll be shipped out. Now where the hell's my damn coffee? Here you go, sir. Woo! Drop and give me 20! He's a really tough boss, but it's doing wonders for my biceps. <laughs> And the winner is Danny Bowman for the home office, the making of cartoon HR. Congratulations, Danny. It looks like you got a co-star right there in frame. Are you, are you on? Can yes. I'm on. I just okay. can't believe it. I thought I would never make it, but first of all, I just would like to say thank you to the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge for allowing animation into this year's film challenge. And a huge thank you to my team of 12, Rana Werner, Chris Castillo, Keaton Bicknell, Archer Obrito, Mark Matawad, Phoebe Clark, Kira M, Dialino, and Morgan Knapp, Paul Gomez, and Sandy Vielma. It was amazing that we all came together from all over the world via Zoom to create this film. Thank you, everybody. Oh, and a huge thank you to Tim Boom for providing the software to make this um, sh short film possible. It's like, it's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. By the way, it's called Cartoon HQ, not HR. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, real quick before we watch your movie, you know, I, I know a little bit about your production. You have a really diverse crew too, right? Was there a lot of people with disabilities involved in your film? It's true. There's nine of us who have autism. I bet you can't tell who is who, just like I've mentioned in the movie. So anyway, um, thank you again. Well, I'm thank you. Here. Thank you, and now let's watch her film! And the winner of Best Editor presented by Adobe is... Danny Bowman, The Home Office. Attention! You lily livers are here to sell and produce cartoons. Do not forget your mission, soldiers. I don't want to see any. Oh, hi, you. Go in the site. Go get in uniform immediately, Private. As I was saying, my assistant Mindy will be making the rounds for performance evaluations today, so shape up or you'll be shipped out. Now, where the hell is my damn coffee? There you go, sir. Woo! Drop and give me 20! He's a really tough boss. But it's doing wonders for my biceps. <laughs> yes, we're thinking a full-blown comic book series. Yes, starring yours truly, of course. A thousand copies? You got it. Stay super. <laughs> Today's performance reviews will be a breeze. I hold the company record in sales, and I've been employee of the month every month since I started here. Wonder Boy thinks he's got this performance review in the bag, but little does he know, I've got the evil scheme of the century up my sleeve. First up for evaluation, accounting. Have you started balancing the budget yet, Marco? Yes, I am. Just a few more order numbers to punch it in. I'm a real close to leveling up, and if I wanted that promotion, I got to raise the roof. I'm pretty sure punching the ceiling like this is costing the company money. Hello, me! <laughs> <laughs> I shall steal his best clients. I'm not worried. I knew he'd try to steal my contact list. <laughs> That's why I planted all those dot numbers. He's gonna spend the afternoon calling pizza places. 
It's gonna be hilarious. What do you mean, pick up? You're the one who picked. There's breakfast in the break room! What in the name of crappy confectionery is this? We don't eat these sorts of weak physique treats in my platoon. I'll be confiscating that. Now, everyone, get back to work! I'd better report to the boss. Sir? What have I told you about knocking, Private? That's it! I'm sending all you sorry excuses for staff to human resources! No, 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 no! Anything but that! No one ever comes back from HR. Darn it! Technical issues again! Hey, Danny! Hello. Hi, hey, everybody! Hey, hey Danny. Danny! Hey, Danny! How's that ending scene coming? I ran into a bug, but we are almost there. Awesome. Okay. You can send me the files so I can finish it up for you. Thank you so much, Morgan. That would help. Nice work. Great work, you guys. Everything's really coming together, especially my villain scene. <laughs> Keaton, do you have the new audio file ready? Yeah, uh, I'll do the score. All right, and you're gonna do the effects, Paul? Paul That's right. I'm gonna be doing it right now. Phoebe, you're on mute. Sorry about that, Fur got to unmute. I was just saying that it is incredible to me that this neurodiverse team of 12 has come together from across the globe to create this film. In this team, there's nine of us who have autism. I bet you can't tell who is who, and it really doesn't matter because we're all equally competent animators. It's about what is in our minds and in our hearts. And how we can come together to entertain our audience and bring awareness to our cause. We run into technical issues like... I think he glitched. This online platform allows us to collaborate effectively and produce content that wouldn't have been possible to create together otherwise. Statistically speaking, it's about three times harder for a person with a developmental disorder to get hired by an animation studio. But hey, that doesn't stop us from dreaming big. Great job, team! All right, how incredible was that? To know that that entire movie was edited over the course of a week, it's pretty incredible. Our next award is the Best Director Award presented by Warner Media. And to help us announce this award, I don't think we could have found a better person. He's an Emmy nominated writer, an actor, a director himself. He's a big, amazing supporter of the disability community and especially of the film challenge. Please keep it going for Ryan O'Connell. Oh my God, Nick, thank you for that gorgeous intro and for making me sound like a person who does things rather than just lay in bed all day and listen to shoegaze. So these mockumentary films this year, frankly, gave me goosebumps. I found each film to be poignant, uplifting, honest, and real, but most importantly, LOL levels of hilarious. Congratulations to you all. Now, I found the film challenge a few years ago as presenting an award and I was just so in awe of the level of talent in the disabled community. Not surprised, because honey, we've been here, but it was just really meaningful to see an event that was catered directly to disabled people where they were given free reign to make exactly the kind of content they wanna make and show what they can do. This community, our disability community, alongside our allies and friends is tackling stigmas and stereotypes head on, paving the way for greater inclusion, diversity and representation across entertainment and media. And what, what better way to do that than through comedy and satire? It's a subtle art that requires timing, creativity, and a master to make it all sing. That's why the directors nominated tonight are so important. And the finalists for the best director presented by Warner Media are... The nominations for best director presented by Warner Media are... 
Viral Acker stuff. Lights out and away we go. Michael, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Michael, I'm waiting. Are you coming down, Michael? We're here waiting for you. Maria D. Domenico, Dwarfopsychosis. Show them the Grand Canyon. Okay, this is epic. How epic is that pic? Right? Really great. Is, we're and staring can off you tell the, the difference from behind? No, no I can't. Well, so what can. would you say uh, are some of your biggest differences? I'll let him answer this one. Oh, uh, well, he's, tattoos, right? Yeah. I, I'm terrified of needles, but he's, he's a wuss. Pat's a tougher guy than I am. Marie Elise Rodriguez. Nene Two Bomb. That's my man, girl, that's me. That's my man, like what you mean? That's my man, girl, that's me. That's my man, like what you mean? I mean, that wig is synthetic. I mean, you look so pathetic. Said what I said, don't regret it. You wanna fight, then let's get it. Yo, that's the vibe right there. Luke Terrell, extra special. Is there any message you'd like to say to all your family? You know, if you're authentically yourself and only be yourself, you can achieve anything you want. And the winner is Maria D. Domenico for Dwarfo Psychosis. Congratulations, Maria. I'm glad I wrote this out because, woo, if I didn't, oh my God. Um, okay, well, first of all, thank you, Nick, for putting together this amazing platform for all of these beautiful, colorful, unique, and authentic people to, I don't know, just share their voices and their stories. What an honor and a privilege to be amongst these people. Congratulations to all of my nominees. You guys are like, you guys are mold breakers, and I mean, I can't wait to see what you all do next. Um, thank you to my husband, Stephen Lakioma, uh, who helped us bring this story together along with Pancho and Emily. And I mean, their performance made directing this really easy. I'm like so nervous now. I didn't think I was gonna win. This is crazy. Um, and thank you to um, my family for their continued support. Uh, really, honestly, this is such a this is such an honor. I don't take it lightly. I my nominees are just you guys were so good. I watched all of your films. They are so amazing. I really can't wait to see what you guys do next. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we see your film, Maria, you know, your husband kind of just barely came into frame. Is he a little person? Was that the inspiration to this? Oh. You, you think you're, you know, you're the, congratulations to yeah, you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now let's see Dwarf Psychosis. And the winner of Best Director presented by Warner Media is Maria D. Domenico, Dwarf Psychosis. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Hey, what's up? We're the Bianco brothers. We're fraternal twins. Yep. I'm Peter. I'm Pat. And uh, I know we're fraternal, but it's really hard to tell us apart. Ah, we're not identical. Really. But uh, yeah, and uh, we love to do everything together travel, date, and we happen to be little people. Really proud of that. So. Yeah. But yeah, traveling, dating. Why uh, don't you go get those pictures, buddy? Oh, from the last trip? Yeah. Is that Remember? okay? I'm gonna go, where are they? Over yeah, on the Grandma counter? sends us everywhere. Where are they? Over on the counter? Yeah, over there? go get them okay. on the counter. Yeah, so Grandma sends us, anyways. He's not a little person. He thinks he is. I can't reach him. Use a stool. Oh, oh, dude, don't show that one, man. Oh, this is fun. We went to the Bahamas. <laughs> we got really time. drunk. That yeah. was fun. That was a really yeah. good time. This is us when we went to Disney World. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we wear these hats so we can spot each other in large crowds. It makes mm -hmm. it a lot easier. This mm -hmm. was a good trip, but they, they wouldn't let us go on Splash Mountain. <laughs> they let you go. 
Uh, show them the Grand Canyon. Okay. This is epic. How epic is that pic? Right? Really great. Is, we're and can off you tell the, the difference from behind? No. no I can't. Well, so you what can. would you say uh, are some of your biggest differences? I'll let him answer this one. Oh, uh, well, he's, tattoos, right? Yeah. I, I'm terrified of needles, but he's, he's a wuss. Pat's a tougher guy than I am. Um, oh, uh, I always have to have socks on. Even if it's so hot, Pat never wears socks. This is uh this is a toy from when we were kids that I hold I hold on to everything. Um you know, it's uh I'm not really sure why you guys are here today. Um I'm not sure if it's to document, you know, little people, uh, but it's been really hard uh, because I love my brother so much and I look up to him, even though he's only two minutes older. Um, he's the tough one. You know, we, we get made fun of a lot and people know we're different, so they like call it out. But I just I hope he knows how much I love him and how much I look up to him. And I've always wanted to be like him. So right about now, it's grandma's bathing hour. It's Pete's job. <laughs> yeah, we live with our grandma. Anyways, the real reason I had you guys come here today is because today is the day that I'm going to reveal the truth to my brother. I told myself no matter where we are in life, that on our 40th birthday, I'm going to tell him the truth. I mean, it's, he's been in denial all these years. It's, it's gotten to be a little too much. It's, it's embarrassing. You know, you don't need a stool, right? <laughs> Shut up, bro. You, you don't need a stool. Maybe it's because we share the same dwarf gene. I have no idea. But I just want him to be normal. I know I want you. I know I want man. Oh. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear him singing Grandma her favorite song. She loves Pitbull. Oh, thanks, man. I got you a gift. Dude, you said we weren't doing gifts I this know, year. I know, just open it. Come on, man. Open it. Is this a gift certificate to the Wiz? Because nobody beats no, the Wiz. No, just open it. You're going you're gonna to love it. Hmm. What is this? Peter Bianco, you are not a little person. Doctor. What is this? Is this like a joke or something? Come on. Where's, just let where'd... that sink in. Wait, Doctor? Did you do this? Is your hand? Did you do this? Yes, I did. Why? Because you need to realize the truth, brother. Listen, we're twin brothers, and I love you to death more than anything. But you are not a little person, all right? Don't say that. No, you're not a little person. Don't say that, man. I'm not. Listen, I'm just being honest with you. I know I'm being honest with you. Look, look at my arms. Look at my arms. Look at your arms. Look at your legs. Dude, we're talking about we're brothers. I'm a little person. Listen, it's okay. It's not about what's out here. It's about what's in there. And you're gonna be accepted no matter what. I will? Yeah. So I am a little person. This is just a joke. If you lived a hundred years, you'd be singing the same old tune. That life can be a monster, but there's still something wrong with you. Hey bro, did you see the three-stepper stool? I want to put the dishes away and I can't reach the top. All right, congratulations. Our next award is the Best Actor Award presented by IMDb Pro. And I am truly honored that we have this presenter with us. Earlier tonight, I, I mentioned him. I'm not sure how many of you have seen the incredible film, Amazon film, Sound of Metal. Well, this gentleman was nominated for an Oscar not even two weeks ago, and he's here with us tonight. Please welcome Mr. Paul Racy. Well, it's safe to say that at some point in our career, every actor, and really all of us as humans, dream of that big win, that recognition for a job incredibly well done. 
And tonight is no different. We're celebrating so much talent tonight. The many skilled actors who poured their hearts out for this year's Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. You made us all laugh, you made us think, and you did mockumentary proud. We had actors with disabilities from all over the world playing unique, interesting, and funny characters this year. Each of you know the best way to work as an actor is to continue to make your own work, to practice your craft and create your art. And this challenge does just that. Now, I've been in this business for a, a long time and Sound of Metal offered me a role of a lifetime, one that I'm incredibly proud of. It's also critical that we all continue to see disability authentically on the screen in every form and far more often. And you've heard me say this before, I'm looking forward to a day when we can look on the screen in any form of entertainment and watch protagonists go through a journey and they just happen to have a disability. And that day is coming soon because of your work. Watching your films, I know many of you will find these same opportunities that I was afforded and soon. Now, your talent is too great for that not to happen. Let's continue to lift each other up and move inclusion forward. Keep your stories coming. All right, and now back to these incredible actors. The nominees for Best Actor presented by IMDb Pro are... The nominations for Best Actor presented by IMDb Pro are Andy Arias, Extra Special. There you go. That is it. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> well, I'm an actor slash model slash advocate. So many things for this community. I'm a sex symbol, an unaccredited chiropractor. Yes, we're in St. Louis. That is going to be famous, Ricky. <laughs> I'm getting my name on uh, the Walk of Fame in St. Louis, so I'm really happy. Cody Lascala, Breaking Cody. I got it. I got it. He said he wants a hug. Hug. I don't know you. I'm not. I don't. I'm not like that. Here. Uh, is that, is that not it? Five bucks. You want five bucks. Y'all take care. All right. You didn't say hug. Ooh. I mean, we got five dollars though. Oh. Pancho Moller. Dwarfo psychosis. Been in the Nile all these years. It's it's gotten to be a little too much. It's it's embarrassing. You know you don't need a stool, right? <laughs> Shut up, bro. You, you don't need a stool. Maybe it's because we share the same dwarf chain. I have no idea. Natalie Travone, Nene Tubom. I'm not about to subscribe to society's toxic standards. Like, so I started like these support groups and these rallies to empower women to fight against what they tell us is beautiful. Like, no, you don't have to do that because y'all gonna get this little booty and y'all gonna like it. Be you, be loud, and be proud. And the winner is Natalie Travone for Nene Tubam. Way to go, Natalie. Oh my gosh, so first of all, <laughs> I want to thank God. He makes the plans. I just follow it. Um, my wonderful producer and director, Marie Elise, Ros Elise Rodriguez, we did that. Yes. Our glam squad, Fernandi Tubom, Brooke, Deshaun, Danielle, our cinematographer, Carlos, and everybody who supported us along the way. We shot it in one day, and I just feel like we really put our heart and soul into it, and Nene's such a fun character. I want to be here one day. <laughs> I'm not that bold. Old, but thank you so so much i'm super super excited and last but not least my family who's in the room with me that's constantly supporting me through every season so i'm just like kind of speechless but yes thank you, <laughs> thank you. 
Well, you know, real real quick, I mean, you said you want a beer someday. I don't know, you fooled me. If you're not a rapper and they need to bomb right now, I mean, I know you. And I'm like, who is this? You killed it. They so, bomb I don't know if you want to rap for us right now or I uh, know. No, nah, I'm not a rapper. Oh, but, one more thing. Yeah. I do want to thank my producer, my, my music uh, partner, Jeremy Jeffers, who did all the beats. We sat down at a piano and wrote together. So thank you so much. This is for you, too. <laughs> Wow, it's amazing. You should be proud of your work and your whole team should be. Now let's see Nene 2 Bomb! And the winner of Best Actor presented by IMDb Pro is Natalie Travone, Nene 2 Bomb. Chardonnay Royal Banks is easily the biggest star of her generation. Over 1 million followers on social media, a fashion icon with endorsements for Prada, Gucci, and Versace, sold out shows at arenas, and three platinum records. She's just getting started. So who is this young starlet currently being referred to as the princess of hip hop? She's none other than Nay Nay Two Bomb. What's up, Nay Nay Nation? Thank you for all y'all love and support. I'm so excited. Thank you for going out and copping that. That's my man. And I want to give y'all a little sneak peek of my new song coming up. So stay tuned. Uno, dos, tres. Bad shoes in a brand name dress. Always first, never play second best. No sight, but I never look a mess. She contributes her success to her prolific lyrics and beats that she writes all on her own. Get it, girl? Shake it to the left. Gon' shake it to the right. All the girls on the floor. Little booties, unite. Little booties are in, don't listen to what they say. You know we gotta speak out or else they'll never be changed. And uh, long hair, little butt, cute face. Soft skin so sweet you wanna taste. As you can see, Nene is a true legend in the making. But how did the princess of hip hop come to be this huge star? And when did she know that her life was about to change forever? Yeah, so the way I got into hip hop is that me and my best friend Kina decided to start a hip hop group called the Pop Off Girls. And we really started it because it's like, if you disrespect us, you can get pop. And so Kina basically got a full scholarship to Spellman, go girl. And I ended up going solo and I got invited to this like industry party and they had like this open mic thing going on and they was like get on stage so i was like okay i got this i got this so i got up on stage and just went crazy i was just flowing okay and then tde ended up hitting me up later like come through the studio and i mean like the rest is history i'm about sprick ross since i go off all these dudes is lame you know they all talk all talk i threw it back he couldn't catch it I'm about to learn them this is lesson And to know me is a blessing Baddest in the room, walk in, no question And I'm blind and fine Got my white cane on their next They couldn't touch me if they tried That's my man, girl, that's me That's my man, like what you mean? That's my man, girl, that's me that's my man, like what you mean? I mean, that wig is synthetic. I mean, you look so pathetic. Said what I said, don't regret it. You wanna fight, then let's get it. Yo, that's the vibe right there. Yeah, so just growing up as a woman of color, you know, especially in the black and Latino community, we tend to be a little bit curvier, you know? So my little cousins and best friends was waking up like, surprise, Sade! And they had like a little extra in the back. And then I was waking up and was like, well, where is mine? Like, I didn't see one. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I can get some butt implants or some butt shots. But I was like, no, I'm not about to subscribe to society's toxic standards. Like, so I started like these support groups and these rallies to empower women to fight against what they tell us is beautiful. Like, no, you don't have to do that because y'all gonna get this little booty and y'all gonna like it. Be you, be loud and be proud because they can't hold us back, okay? The sky is the limit for this young star and we can't wait to see what she does next. Yes, go off, sis.
Congratulations, Natalie. All right, who wants to see me rap? No, I, I, <laughs> that may be bad. All right, for our final award of the night is the best film award presented by Warner Media. And we are so lucky to have this friend of the disability community. She really came out at, with fire, you know, when, when she was in the critically acclaimed movie, A Quiet Place. Well, we're gonna see Melissa Simmons later this month in A Quiet Place too. Come on, Millie, bring us home. Thanks, Nick. And thanks for including me in tonight's festivities. I am a passionate advocate for disability inclusion across film and TV. And the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge is the real deal. These awesome films and filmmakers are pushing us all forward, encouraging the industry to think different about representation and how to go about the business of greater inclusion. There is so much opportunity ahead of us, true chances for this talented community to make more incredible, meaningful, and entertaining content. I simply love these mockumentary films and I want the world to see them and champion your talent. When entertainment invests in us, takes that chance to break the outdated stereotypical mold, then we all win and we're all better for it. Thank you all for sharing your films, for putting yourself out there and driving disability inclusion forward. And also, especially this year, in some really clever and witty ways. And the finalists for best film presented by Warner Media are. The nominations for best film presented by Warner Media are. Cody La Scala, Breaking Cody. <laughs> In daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee, in inches, in mouths of Emily Pascal, Dwarfopsychosis. You are not a little person, all right? Let's hear that. No, you're not a little person. Let's hear that, man. I'm not. Listen, I'm just being honest with you. I know I'm being honest with you. Look, look at my arms. Look at my arms. Look at your arms. Look at your legs. We're talking about we're brothers. I'm a little person. Listen, it's okay. It's not about what's out here. It's about what's in there. Luke Terrell, extra special. It's been really nice. You know, I've been to see the sights. I got to see uh, the archway. And that was super fun. And I went to, what do they call that, City Museum, and that was, it looked like a homeless shelter, but it was actually a museum. Marie Elise Rodriguez, Nene Tubom. She contributes her success to her prolific lyrics and beats that she writes all on her own. Get it, girl? Shake it to the left. Go shake it to the right. All the girls on the floor, little booties, unite. And the winner is Emily Pascal for Dwarfo Psychosis. Congratulations, Emily and the entire team. Congrats. We can see everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. We're live. Uh, well, I know. Yeah. I'm really shocked and I have to say that I can't really take much credit for this because I did the paperwork and made sure no dogs barked during the scenes and made sure everyone ate and Pancho, Steven and Maria did 
all of the work, the hard work. They made this thing. They created the characters. They developed the story, and they deserve all of this. Um, and I, I'm just so glad I got to experience it with them, and that we're getting to experience this as two married couples. Who it was amazing to just find another couple that you work really, really well creatively with. And I, I can't. I'm. Am I missing somebody? Thanks, Is that Easter every? Seals. Thank you, Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, and Nick. And everybody who was nominated, because these these were our favorite films this year, and it was amazing to just be up here with them. I don't even know what to say. I was not expecting this. <laughs> well, first of all, I mean, that is a natural producer right there. Take all the credit <laughs> and throw it to everybody else, right? Yeah. But you deserve it, because you put together a great film, and all, all of your team, really and truly, you, you did such great work. And now let's see that. No, we already saw your movie. <laughs> I'm kidding. We already saw it. But congratulations. One more time. Emily Pascal, Pancho hey. Moller in frame to the team from Door Psychosis. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, my God. That was our award ceremony tonight. I want to really quick thank all of our amazing participants. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. You have so many films that you're created from all over the world. I guess in some senses we could say this is the year of the little people between me and Pancho and <laughs> presenters, but not really because we have so much diversity even within these winners. Let's bring in all of our, our winners into frame. But, but first, before I do that, I want to give one more special thank you to our sponsors because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Thank you to our judges. Thank you to everybody. This is a huge collective team effort and the disability community has really embraced us. But when I said this is the year of little people, I wanna bring all these winners back into frame. Because if you, if you, look, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna try to see if I can high five from you guys virtually. Let me see, let me see. Go bam, look at that. <laughs> uh, no, but, but when I said this is the year of little people, when you look around at the winners and you look at the films, you know, from little people to uh, blind, to autism, to wheelchair users. I mean, really, we, the, the diversity within our community is so beautiful. And the fact that we could tell our, our stories and that it's leading to jobs and opportunities, I can't tell you how much it means. And I just wanna thank you all. But really, I wanna thank all of the nominees. Where are the nominees? Where are you at, everybody? I love you all, believe me, all of you, and not just the nominees and the winners, everybody that took part in the film challenge, because we have film challenge participants around the world tuning in. This is just the start. <laughs>